Hello and welcome to Steve's Physics Channel. I'm Steve, and today we're going to be looking at a problem where we're pushing a box across the floor with friction. In this problem, we have a box that's being pushed down at a 62 degree angle with a force of 2500 newtons. If there's a frictional coefficient of 0.12, what is the acceleration of the box? Go ahead, pause the video, try it by yourself. When you're ready, I'll show you how I did it. Welcome back. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. Uh, first thing I did when solving it was I wanted to identify all the given quantities in the problem. So for this problem, we know mass of the block and the acceleration of gravity. We know the applied force. We know the angle at which it was applied at and you know the frictional coefficient. However, what we don't know is the acceleration of the block due to the applied force. Next, I'll draw a force diagram and make sure you include gravity, the normal force, uh, the force of friction, and the applied force at an angle. And it's important to note that when you're solving for the components of the applied force, you could either use the 28 degree angle that's going to be formed with whoever's pushing it and the actual angle or you could use the 62 degree angle from the actual box that's up from the box. In either case you, it'll work you just need to make sure that you're using the correct sine or cosine. When solving for the components I ended up using the 62 degree angle. In the x direction the total applied force times the cosine of the angle, which in this case was 62 degrees. When we do that, we get 1,173.68 newtons. Next, I wanted to solve for the y component of the force. And you do that same method, except this case, you're gonna use the sine of the angle. And when you plug that in, you'll get 2,207.37 newtons. Next, I wanted to find out uh, what the force due to the weight of the box is, which we can find by doing the mass of the block times gravity. And we plug that in, we can find that, that the force due to the weight is 6,860 newtons. And, and since we know that the block is not accelerating in the up and down direction, the sum of the forces in that direction should be equal to zero. That means that the normal force has to equal the sum of the y component of the applied force plus the force of gravity. And we're going to need that for finding the force of friction because the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force. And we have all that and so we can plug it in and when we do that, we find that the force of friction is equal to 1,088.08 newtons. Now we finally have all of the information we're going to need to find out what the acceleration is. To find acceleration, we're only going to need Newton's second law, force is equal to mass times acceleration. We know that the sum of the forces is equal to the x component of the applied force in one direction and in the other direction we have the force of friction so we'll subtract that and that we're going to set that equal to the total mass times the acceleration and now we just need to solve for acceleration and when we plug all that in we find that the total acceleration of the block is 7.78 meters per second squared. Hopefully that wasn't too bad for you. And if you do have questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer you. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel for more content just like it. And until next time, have a great day.